Hello, hello, here's something really cool. This display is ultra energy efficient. It consumes power when the screen changes. And watch this. I will unplug it and the content stays on the screen, even with no power at all. That's the magic of ePaper. And because this device already has an ESP32 with built-in Wi-Fi, it connects directly to open weather, features live weather data and show it right here. No Raspberry Pi, no Arduino, nothing extra required. Ok, ok, I've split this video into two parts. First, we'll take a closer look at the crawl panel ePaper display, its features, hardware and how it works. Then, in the second part, I will show you step by step how I built a wireless weather station with it. Where to get the code, how to fix bugs, install libraries and upload everything. So, if you are already familiar with the hardware, you can skip ahead to the part where I talk more about the weather station. But, if you are curious about what makes this display unique, let's dive in. Ok, this package arrived from Allegro and they asked me for another review. And a site is something I really want to test. So let's open it up. And here it is the Crow Panel ESP32 ePaper HMI display. And it looks interesting and minimalistic. It's just a slim screen with a few ports and buttons. But don't be fooled, it's not just a display, it's actually a full microcontroller board with built in Wi Fi. So, what makes this display different? It uses ePaper technology, the same type of screen you find in an ePaper reader. Instead of using a backlight like LCDs or OLED, it rearranges tiny black and white particles to form the image. The best part is once the image is drawn, it doesn't need any power to stay there. That's why you can unplug it and the content remains visible, just like printed text and paper. It's sharp and perfectly readable even in direct sunlight. Ports and hardware overview. Now let's take a look around the device. On the side there is a USB-C port for programming and powering the board. A micro SD card slot, perfect for loading custom image or storing data. Along the edge you will find GPIO pins, so you can connect sensors or expand it like an other USB32 board. On the front there are buttons and rotary encoder, so you can interact with your interface right out of the box. And under the hood, the brain of this device, ESP32 S3 chip, which means you get dual core processing, Wi Fi, and Bluetooth all built in. Fun fact of course, ePaper has its trade offs. Refreshing the screen takes about 1 to 2 seconds, but in exchange, you get incredible power savings and the beautiful paper like readability. So now that we've unboxed it, learn how ePaper works and see what hardware comes with it. Let's move on to the fun part, turning it into a fully working wireless weather station. Alright, time for the fun part. Let's turn the crow panel into a fully working wireless weather station. It connects directly to the Wi-Fi, pulls live data from open weather and updates the screen automatically. I will show you exactly how to set it up step by step. The first thing you will need is the source code. You can download it from GitHub. I will leave the link in the description. Once you open it in Arduino IDE or something else, there are just a few lines that you need to edit. Inside the code, look for the Wi-Fi credentials, the SSID and the password. Then paste in your OpenWeather API key, which you can get from free from the OpenWeather website. You can go to this website, create account for free and get API key. As I mentioned before, you need to paste your API key here. Now you can also update city and city code. Now if this is your first time with Arduino IDE, you'll probably see some errors when you try to compile the code. That's because you are missing a few libraries. Don't worry, it's super easy to fix. Just open the library manager, search for missing libraries, install them and you are ready to go. And here it is, a wireless weather station running on Crow Panel ESP32. It's connected to Wi-Fi, fetching live weather data from open weather and display it in a black and white on the screen. Tips and troubleshooting. If you are run into issue, here is a few quick tips. Check output and serial monitor. Make sure your API key is correct. One wrong character and it wasn't work. 
check that your Wi-Fi name and password and enter it exactly. If the display looks wrong, double check that you select the right board type in Arduino. And if you see error about missing libraries, just go back to the library manager, install them, it only takes a minute. If you see missing data on your screen, check CT code and CT name. Now that you've got the basic running, you can expand this project even further. You can show a stock or crypto ticker, a smart home dashboard with sensor data, or even a calendar or to-do list. Because the crow panel is just an ESP32 with e-paper screen, the possibilities are huge. So that's how you build a wireless weather station with the crow panel ESP32. It's simple, power efficient and surprisingly versatile. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and check the link below for the source code and setup guide. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next project.